Is your character feeling a little bit bland? Are they maybe feeling a little bit fashionably challenged? Are you going onto the beach and then everyone looks at you like, Oh my god, Brittany, would you look at what he's wearing? Oh my god, what's he wearing? I mean, ew, ew, ew. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Well, I have some news for you because we are going into the Revealing Armor Ultimate Guides. And yes, you heard that right. And so this is going to be your ultimate guide <laughs> to do picking armor pieces that will show the most of your character in this game. Like a true connoisseur. Never again will your character feel lackluster or bland or vanilla. So let's get right into it. So first of all, I have to recommend this one. This is my current favorite. This has been worked into so many of my glamours. And so this is the number two Type B Leggings. And so this is from the Near Automata Raid, and this is actually something that you can obtain in a loot box at the end of the... Or I should be careful not to say loot box. Not a loot box, not a loot box. A treasure chest at the very end of the raid. And you get a bunch of two beer tire. And so this is actually dedicated to the Nier Automata series. And so interestingly enough, hey, if you're a Hrothgar, you can wear this too. Which is... It, it made it instantly a favorite of mine. Just because it, um... It shows so much more of the Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> I'm gonna be cancelled for this. <laughs> but anyhow, nice things about this is that if you dye it and you say have a Horoska with a particular fur color, that you can dye it <laughs> the fur color. And this makes it, especially when you pair it with more bright items like what I'm currently wearing, that it, it adds a bit to that Ill illusion. There is. I, I have gotten commendations for my my good taste just from this. In fact, maybe like a quarter of my commendations is actually attributed to this. But anyhow, this is like totally my number one pick. If you're looking for bottom gear that is like super, super... <laughs> this would absolutely be number one. And so likewise, I'm just going to show some sets here. So my Glamour set for my ranged DPS, which I also kind of use some other places, but like it works in really well here because right now you see this gold coat here. And for the record, that item is actually, uh, what was it? The hooded fire glass leather vest, which you can get on the market board. This is actually a crafted item and you just dye it gold and oh my gosh. It's just like you just get that little peak underneath and it is just it it, it really adds a lot of um how to say it curiosity it's just kind of like crouching t tiger <laughs> hidden thong another good one is for ninja and you can do something very similar for the samurai and dragoon where basically you pair up this like super futuristic like really tight exosuit which is actually from the pvp vendors and so in particular this set right now for the ninja is late elegant armor of scouting and like this 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 definitely pairs up well with this silver you definitely want to aim i think the more metallic color range if you're going for this kind of look it just it just adds a lot of dimensionality here i am talking like a true connoisseur <laughs> another one is just if you want to go without that fire glass vest one thing that i definitely rock on my red mage is just a, a little more all natural and so next up is going to be a classic this has been like the one that people go to since like a realm reborn started days and so this is going to be the coral beach reefs coral beach reefs basically it's like this leopard spot printed outfit and so you can especially see on Hrothgar that you can see a little bit of tail in my but basically it's like the classic go-to. It's just like if you're gonna be using skimpy, uh, how to say it, a lighter glamour, uh, this was gonna be the way to go in this game, really, at the start. <laughs> Until we got the 2v1. It, 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 it's dyeable in a whole lot of different metallic shade ranges. It goes well with basically anything. Like right now, I'm rocking carbuncle slippers with it. You do you, Glen Coco. You wear those carbuncle slippers. And so this is definitely 
definitely an all-time classic. This is this is a favorite, no doubt, of the community. Likewise here, you can see me rocking it with a butler suit with pink carbuncle slippers. Definitely stylish and professional. And so into our third one is Republican Diamatric PvP ninja set loincloth. And so this one is a little bit different. It's not quite as revealing as the 2B one, but if you dye it, see, you can actually kind of like dye these other parts. You can kind of make it look a bit more fur colored. And then you get this like nice like metal look to it. And then you get like that little bit of tan and you get that illusion going. It, it's definitely something that is definitely going to be appealing to a lot, especially if you're more into like metal stuff. Unfortunately, a lot of the PvP variants for the other classes I did find didn't die so well. It was a little less illusion-y, and so that's definitely something to keep in mind is like this one is a little bit more ninja, unfortunately. Fourth up is Rubicon Smalls, and so this one is going to be very useful if you are going on the healers. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if there's really an equivalent for the other ones, but for healers, oh my gosh, this is definitely a good one. And so like if you ever wanted to live that like gym short shorts fantasy, like this definitely looks like it. It, it definitely enhances the um, hamstrings of the character as well as it has these two little rips that go up the leg and so there's definitely a lot showing there and definitely something that you know what if you're going for like that gym look spot on definitely rock it it's very good for many glamours mm -hmm. <laughs> next up is unfortunately an option that is specific to Hrothgar and I actually can't find where I put it I I know that I must have it but apparently it's not coming up on my search list and this is the Hrothgar Subligar. So unfortunately you're only going to see it in the fitting room, but you can definitely see how it has like these straps around there and then it just has that coil around for the tail. It just works, but anyhow, I do not have it. I thought I would, but I do not. So on to the next. And so up next is something that everyone can appreciate, which is the Light Steel Subligar. And so, you know what, if you are going for like that gladiator look, but like that like... Naughty gladiator look. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> but this is definitely one that is quite um good. It's 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 something where it's like obviously there is more material on it, more on the hips and that, but I would wager that that is getting closer to type 2B than it would be the Curl Beach Briefs. I definitely think that this is a, a, a glamour piece worth everyone investing in. And so next is the Bridesmaid's Tights. And so you know what? This is something that it, it was originally, I believe, gender locked. And now since it's like they've removed that gender lock, it's like anyone can wear them. Uh, in terms of dyeing them, dyeing them is actually going to be very interesting because kind of like the first with like the Type 2B, you can definitely dye it and you can get it to a color that is very similar to like a Hrothgar fur dye uh, color. But uh, it's just... How to say it? It's a good illusion. It's not quite as good as Type 2B, but you know what? I think that this is definitely something that if you don't have the time or don't want to do that, right? This would be a fantastic option, especially like if you're like, say, like a pure white Viera or like a Rogadin. Like that definitely, if you just used like one of those dyes, that could definitely blend in really, really well. So I definitely think that it's something to keep in mind. And so next up is the Red Summer Morrow and the Blue Summer Morrow. And so I'm going to just demo some of them. And so you can see that this is kind of like a Curl Breach Brief or a Type 2B, but you have like a little bit of a towel over. And so like if you're looking for a little bit, a little bit less showing and a little bit more conservative, you might consider picking this one up. This is definitely good and the color variation is fantastic. And now I want to talk about the Uraeus skirt. I have bitten the gill bullet to show that basically what is under the... <laughs> what is under the kilt of the Scots person in this case? A pair of shorts. Yeah. No, no. That was disappointing for me too. Oh well, for science. Now let's talk about something for the Disciples of War that is pretty interesting. And so this is the Militia Subligar. And so you know what, if you're really into that like cheetah look with, or leopard print look, and I mean you do that with like your Hrothgar, and like 
you look in, it's like, it, it, it gives you like armor around that and so it's just like the best of both worlds. Maybe you want to look like a leopard print like armored. <laughs> Basically it's really good and so like it, that's definitely something to absolutely consider. Another thing that you could consider is if leopard print isn't your thing then consider maybe going the raptor skin sub legger. That is definitely one that is good. And then another classic that is very similar to one that we covered earlier. Wait, we did cover this earlier, I'm pretty sure. The Colosseum Sublegger, you know, it's good enough to be worth calling twice. If you were looking for that armored look and it is just like wanting also a little bit lighter in that area, I mean, who's to say no? I mean, it's good and it works and yeah. And now I want to talk about a little bit of a different style and this is going to be the Toad Skin Bray. And so, you know what, sometimes, sometimes people just want to see voluptuous shiny spheres and you know what this is definitely an option if that is more your type of thing for like this kind of like shiny look that this is definitely something that you could do and absolutely you could choose this nothing wrong with that anyhow that <laughs> ends this ultimate guide to <laughs> revealing glamour for everyone and I hope that you enjoyed it. Anyhow, that has just given everyone some ideas for some different glamours to try out this spring and summer and then it's the beaches of Aeors. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you so much for being patient with me and my buffoonery and yeah, hope to catch you on the next video. Take care and have a great one.